put it out there. Everything that they've got. They know what's at stake, a place in the uh, final of the competition. And I've heard people talking about that old cliche, who wants it more? Well, uh, we're about to find out. And would it be fair to say, Russian, at the end of that match, neither side could, could probably say, we were better than you, or, or, or we had the edge. Do you think it was a fair reflection that day? Yeah, it was, uh, was an interesting game of football. First half, I thought Indonesia were the better side. Uh, they controlled the game really well. And then second half, they allowed Singapore to sort of get back into it. And uh, perhaps a bit of fatigue in the legs of some of these Indonesian players. Some of the substitutions were a little bit strange as well. Mm. Alkan Bagger coming in. Uh, at halftime sort of disrupted things yeah. and allowed, you know, Iksan especially from Singapore to get an opportunity to run at him at a, uh, on a couple of occasions. And I thought Singapore's performance was, was much better in the second 45 and they came away uh, with a draw, which was a fair result when you uh, look back at that match. Whether they want to admit it or not, are high in Singapore for the national team, who many of feel have punched above their weight. And same now with Indonesia as we look at the lineups. And they make two changes from that first leg. Ezra Walian, the preferred striker this evening, and Rama Rumakek returns from suspension. They are still maintaining that 5-4-1 that they played in the first leg, perhaps to the surprise 
of many. And it is interesting to see that Irfan, who's been one of the outstanding players for Indonesia, drops to the bench today. Didik Setiawan is the striker who will also be on the bench. They have got plenty of other attackers to call upon. Egi Maulana in particular, so much been talked about him. Much speculation as to whether he would start today in attack, but he will be on the bench. The player who is in the Slovakian league. And there is another surprise. Iksan Fandi, we'll talk about him in a short while as the two captains, Asnawi and Haris Harun. Just having the toss, deciding which ends. Talking of ends, we could well have penalties at the end of all of this. If it is still a draw at the end of the 90, then extra time, we will go to penalties. Singapore make uh, more changes than Indonesia from that first leg. In come Amy Reka, Hafiz Noor, Zulkainan Suzliman, and Hami Shahin. So four changes in all for Singapore. They too are going to go with a five at the back. Five, four, one. Slight tweak from the last game where it was a five, three, two. And it's Haris Harun in the middle of that defense. A tweak that they had in the second half of the game against Indonesia would seem to bear fruit. The players that make way, Nazrul Nazari, the right back, as well as Iksan Fundi and Faris Rumbling. Perhaps the two changes that will have a few Singaporeans a little bit concerned. Zofami Arifin was taken off in the middle of that game against Indonesia in the first leg. Kasim al Hatmi, the referee, Omani referee, the last referee in the previous game, came under scrutiny for decisions. Penalty that wasn't given. There's been plenty of talk from the coaches here about asking for VAR in the next edition. Let's see if that happens. But here in the here and now, Roshan, what do you make of the two lineups tonight? I think for Indonesia, it's one we uh, pretty much expected. You know, they did, uh, they've done well. They found a pretty much a, a system that they're going with uh, that has suited them. And again, when you look at the lineups that they've got, there's an opportunity for, as we said, the flexibility that they have with Alfiandra, for example, can slot into a back three. They can also go with a back four and push Alfiandra forward into that midfield to play alongside uh, Rahmari Rianto and uh, Ricky Kambuaya. So there's flexibility in that lineup. And it's the same with Singapore as well. Um, a bit more surprised with the changes that they've made, but I think they've perhaps had a few fitness issues. The game's, you know, coming uh, thick and fast in the knockout stages. Well, almost immediately, half is no. down that left-hand side. He's got the pace, hasn't he, Hafiz Noor? Yeah, he's been looking confident, hasn't he? And not just not Hafiz Noor, referring to the man on the bench just now. <laughs> Tatsuma Yoshida is smiling all the way through. It's a, it's a different kind of outlook because he's he's had a tough time, hasn't he, in this tournament? Yeah. And uh, he's got a big smile on his face. We know we saw him as the teams uh, were coming out for their warm-up. He, he was looking nice and relaxed, nice and confident. And, you know, we, we talk about the... Uh, the changes that are that are hmm. being made, you see that the goals that have been conceded in this competition, the passing accuracy so far, things like the crossing accuracy, not too no, no not too much of a difference between uh, these two sides. Absolutely, I was just going to say every stat there, and there's uh, Shin Tae Yong, the opposite number, who's also quite a character himself. Everything was close except for goals scored. 14 for hmm. Indonesia, eight for Singapore, but they've had almost exactly the same number of shots which means the Singapore would be pretty good with the conversion rate. If you want to look at that, Amy Recker, the man who's leading the line for Singapore, had one really great effort, didn't he, against Nadio in that first leg. And talking of forwards, Indonesia had three different forwards. They tried three different combinations, didn't they? Ezra Wallian was yanked off after 34 minutes, having been brought on. Yeah, at, at halftime, I guess it just wasn't quite working out for him. Uh, but good to see he still uh, retained the fate of... Uh, his coach. Here's Shadan Sulaiman for Singapore. That's a delightful ball up to his club teammate, Hafiz Noor, who doesn't get the better of the Indonesian skipper, Asnawi. We know about the pace of this Indonesian side that has caused so many problems. And now, Russian, they've enhanced it. Ramai Rumakek. Yep. What a paceman he is. 
a very uh, direct player, number 20, on the left-hand side of this uh, Indonesian attack. Oro Dirfan, eh? Getting dropped like that. I mean, that is the, the kind of depth. Nor Adam Abdullah preferred in that left wing back position. And his first international start in that last game. And has retained his place. They have rotated the wing backs a little bit in this tournament, Singapore. Now Shannon Suleiman. Trying to slide that into Amy Rekka. And featured for Singapore. Now he's got to start here in the semi-final. Big, big moment for him. Here's Pratama Arhan. There's fresh legs for Singapore, especially in those uh, four positions with Amy and uh, Hafiz Noor coming in. Mm. Interesting to see how they get on. And I know there's a lot of talk on social media about Singapore's lineup and how people weren't sure with the changes that were made. I mean. He's got a squad, Tatsuma, and he's been very consistent with his messaging around it in that he said, I trust every member of the squad. It's a delightful ball from Hami Shahin. Amy Rekha, by the way, he's got plenty of pace about him as well. Had a standout season last campaign for Gelang International. Ten goals for him. His best return. I mean, if uh, we see Amy Rekha initially making that run in behind for Karan and Hami Shaheen, it's a really good shielding of the ball by Alfeandra, who looks to be just be occupying a central midfield position alongside Rahmadi Rianto. And what that means is it's given Ricky Kambuaya a bit more freedom mm. to drift across those midfield areas. Here he is on the right-hand side. Rianto, distinct with that tucked-in shirt. Nice touch of the Song we go. And he seems to pass through Shannon Suleiman in a quarterback type of role. Rathama, quick pass on from him. Here's Ramay Rumakek. Now Witan Suleiman. Still Witan, who was brilliant in that last game, Witan. Bit of a plea in vain there to the referee. Yeah, another player who's very difficult to pin down, Witan Suleiman. Talked about his intelligence and, uh, you know, his awareness of the game. Just wonderful, you know, he gets himself into areas where he knows that, you know, he can pick the ball up here, cause lots of issues in behind the Singapore midfield. And again there, he picked it up behind that midfield and looked to try and run at the defence. Showed a little bit too much of the ball there. Irfan, here come Indonesia. Witan Suleiman slips the ball through. And that was a poor miss right in front of goal by Kambuaya. I think it might have taken a deflection of Harris. It was so important for the Singapore captain to come across. Irfan just getting caught out by Ramai Rumakiak there. I love this. this is, again, this is intelligence from Witan Suleiman. Understanding of, you know, he could have perhaps taken a shot on himself, but he thinks, you know, Ricky Kambuaya has made a good run. Use him. Nice little reverse ball to the number 15 and it was so important for Harris to come across. That's one of the benefits of having that back three, an additional man in the centre of defence. Corner for Indonesia, first one of the game. Important intervention there by Harris Harun, who they preferred in that back three now. Here is Witan then with the corner. Trying to get past the first man. Witan Sulaiman again. Afriander Devanga. Pratama Arhan. We know we can hit them. He scored a great goal against Malaysia. Slip through. There is Ruma Ramaykek.
Good early pressure here from Indonesia. A yeah, good start to this game. I think from both these sides, but uh, especially from Indonesia here, looking more comfortable on the ball. Get things going uh, at a good tempo. And Singapore looking to still try and play out from these pressure situations. Lovely dummy there from uh, Hami Shaheen. And all that pressure started from Irfan trying to bring the ball out. The sequence of events has led to this. Yeah, a lot of time on the ball. He loves to try and bring the ball out of play. Here's Hafiz Noor. Yeah, good work from uh, Hafiz Noor. Quick feet. And he's one of those players, Hafiz Noor, who, a little bit like Haris Harun, was unfortunate to uh, pick up COVID. Mm. Which meant, of course, going to be involved in uh, quite a bit of the build-up. Fantastic run for uh, Zulkan and Suzliman. And that was a ballooned shot, wasn't it, from Song Leung? Tatsuma Yoshida is a, a big fan of Hafiz No. And I think uh, every time he's been in the squad, he's contributed. There's Rawalian running in that channel. And it's good work there from Irfan Fandi. He's not the most mobile of strikers, isn't he? but he's, he's big and he, he's got that physical presence. Ezra Walian, yeah, and, and uh, you know, know lots of Indonesian fans out there are calling him Giroud, <laughs> the Indonesian Olivier Giroud, because uh, of his physicality, his role in the team as well. As I said, you know, he perhaps is not going to get too many goals, but you can play off him, yeah. and, and they've got good mobility around him as well. Well, so, issue. that type of style. The issue. Uh, I've certainly been seeing online as we see that ball in from Pratama Arhan. That's another corner for Indonesia. He's the only striker that scored in the goals, and that's one goal from the four that they brought in. Shin Taeyong's team have been scoring plenty. It's not come from their forwards. Yeah, I think very early on here, Harris has just had to have a word with Irfan, who defended that situation really well. But there's a couple of occasions now in possession where Irfan's saying, I don't have options to pass to, and they've turned it over to the, to the Indonesians. That was solid from Safwan. Pratama Arhan. A couple of nervy moments there. Morada does well. Another corner. A good covering by uh, Norada. Some uh, wonderful work from Pratama Arhan. And the one who loves getting into these advanced positions. Very modern day. Left back. Well, that looked like something off the training ground. The shot is blocked. From Fakhruddin Arianto. Into the mix by Alfie Andra. Straight forward for Hassan Sani. He looks up. Decided not to release quickly. Has done that in the past, hasn't he, with Faris Rumble in particular. That was perhaps telegraphed. It's come straight back at Singapore here. A real problem. It's a straightforward goal. And it's Ezra Walia. Indonesia take advantage there. They deserve this Indonesia for the start that they've had in this game. They've been aggressive with the press, with the starting position. They've not given these Singaporean players a chance to settle in this game so far. A punt up field is picked up here by Alfiandra. Ball played in behind. Let's talk about who wants it more. Witan Sulaiman makes this goal happen. Just his desire to win it off Safwan. Alfiandra first pokes it forward. And here you're thinking Safwan has got on the wrong side. He's not goal side of Witan, but still physically, Witan just shrugs him off, unbalances him. And then has the presence of mind here. What I love about this is the composure. He hangs on to it, takes it past Harris. He's got a little bit flat-footed. And then holds and holds and waits for Hassan to come out to commit. And then finds the pass for a simple finish into Ezra Walian. Well, we're just talking about perhaps a lack of goals up top for Indonesia. Ezra Walian 
has scored here. That's his second of the tournament. Boy, how valuable could that be? And once again, Indonesia take a lead in the semi-finals. Well, he started off like this in the uh, first leg as well, Indonesia. With well, a much better side in the opening 45 of the first leg. It faded a little bit in the second, but it looked fresh. Still very early on, lots of football to go. But encouraging signs. Witan. Hami Shahin. Here's Song Wei Young. Singapore just not been allowed to settle. Goes in hard there, Alfian De Devanga. I don't know if Tatsuma is uh, smiling anymore, you know. He's concerned now. So there you go, on aggregate, Indonesia 2-1 up. Reminder, there's no away goals. And there's the man of the moment, Ezra Walian. Dutch Indonesian heritage. Started his career with AZ Alkmaar and Ajax Amsterdam. Maybe moved to Indonesia a couple of years ago. Here he is now. Was debate as to whether he should get starting place today, and there were lots and lots of speculation about Eggy Malana. He has answered his critics there. I just wonder with the the goal as well, as Harris came out to close down with Dan Sulaiman, whether Irfan could have come across a little bit quicker into the space that uh, Ezra Wallen was occupying. It's Hafiz Noor. thinking to do here for Tatsuma. Again, they're just quicker to the ball here. And look who it is, Afiandra. Ramai, that ball out to Witan. Asnawi goes over. Still Asnawi here. Well, they are looking very good here. It's Kambuaya with the shot. All Indonesia at the moment. Yeah, the quicker, the sharper. And they look hungry at the moment. They're winning these physical challenges. You just have a look at us now again. Called him a machine on social media a few days ago and just displaying those fighting qualities once more. And it's not just him. We saw it from Alfeandra as well. What a player he is, that young man. Can play in central defense, can play in yeah. midfield. So composed, really hardworking, winning all these 50s, 50-50 uh, balls in the middle of the park. Ramai. Away by Hassan. <laughs> so the irritation of the fans, that decision. This risky. Another corner, they are racking these up now. Yeah, he's another one who's enjoying himself, Ricky Kambuaya. Love him and his movement, his work rate. He's got that license to drift across, as I said, and we saw him on the right-hand side. Now he's pushing out to that left-hand side because he's got that platform in behind him. He knows he's got Alfreandra, Debanga and Rachmarilianto sitting in that central midfield. So he's got that sort of license to then drift into these different spaces and still knowing that if they do end up losing possession, they've got a nice defensive structure in there. Uh, to help them out in those uh, counter-attacking situations. A little word there from Ezra Walian. Kambuaya. Away by Hami Shahin, but only as far as Alfeandra. Ramai. Back to Hassan there from Hami Shahi, uh, from uh, Zukainen. Singapore just not being able to get past halfway line. 
Well, they haven't really been able to, to build anything in possession, always under pressure. The choices that uh, they're making as well in possession. And what they did in the second half of that first leg, when they were able to turn it around, the, the, the tempo of their game changed. It went up, they played a little bit quicker, but mm. also the players were arriving at, at good timings to support players in possession. So they were able to really build and have a good structure uh, in that possession phase of play. Goes down, aren't they? Very quickly. Indonesia, there's a pocket of space here for Song Wiyong. That's a goal kick. Tatsuma not happy, neither is Song. Looks across at the assistant referee. The Russian, you immediately felt that that was a goal kick. Yeah, I thought, straight away I thought that was a, that was a goal kick, but let's see, I could be wrong. I was just going by my real-time reaction to that. What about your slow-mo reaction to that now? I still think it's a goal kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Rachman Irianto, good shielding of the ball again. Just gets his body in the way, takes the contact, wins the free kick. There is Ramai. Look at that. And then sprints forward. Pratama Arhan. Back to Ramai. Takes it up towards Ezra Walian. Yeah, it's interesting, uh, you know, you mentioned VAR and how the world of football <laughs> has gone from. Absolutely hating VR, not wanting it. You see Iksan on the bench here. He's not 100% fit. We saw him have a bit of an issue the last time out, coming off after scoring that goal yeah, immediately. immediately yeah. I think he was going to be taken off actually before that. We're going back to VAR. And uh, a few mistakes happen, and suddenly it's in the, in the spotlight again, and everybody wants VAR now. to enhance the game and uh, perhaps we may see it in the next AFF Suzuki Cup well there are a lot of considerations when it comes to VR obviously you need the infrastructure in place and you also need referees capable of working it well trained and qualified and have had practice with it Thailand actually have put that as part of their bid when they are looking to host this. Singapore will beat them in the end. There's Hami Shahid. Now Zulkainen. Looking for Sot, who's annoyed there. And here come Indonesia. Look at that. Once again, Pratam Arhan. Slips it through to Ezra. Arianto. Elianto, the outside of his boot. Effectively Russian, you were pointing this out even in the last game, but today, after Devanga, it isn't a, it isn't a back five, is it? No, it's a, they've gone to a back four. Yeah. With a player like Alfeandra Devanga, he can, he he can drop though, into he, that yeah. back line. Yeah. And also, not, let's not forget Rachmat Elianto as well, who can play in central defence. So they've got two midfielders that are very comfortable in those central positions. Heavy collision between... Uh, Amy and uh, Alfiandra quickly taken by Indonesia here. <laughs> it's kind of caught in two minds and looking around, but Indonesia thought quickly. Here's Murata Matula. Looking towards Amy Reka, but it falls to Song Wei Yong. Nice touch on from Amy Reka. Ami needed to put a better cross in. That's about as threatening as Singapore have been. I mean, the, uh, the play in that situation was encouraging up until the, uh, the cross, the quality of the cross not quite there. We can see the run that Hami makes from inside out, just switching positions with uh, Song Wei Yong. Okay, Andrea Dewan are working very hard to close off the angles, make sure the uh, cross couldn't be delivered without pressure.
And even when they went with the, with the back five Indonesia with the Dewang, as I said, again, stepping into midfield, mm. and at times Rahmat could drop into that back three. But it does seem here tonight, for the moment anyway, that they are going, going with the back four. Alfeandra and Rahmat just uh, protecting that, uh, that defence. Late one, Rob, wasn't it? Ali Shahin will have a little chat with the referee here. Irianto, Rahmat Irianto is down. He's OK. There have been a couple of uh, coming together there between these two players, Hami and uh, Rahman. I don't think that uh, the challenge ever caused Rahman too much pain. There was too much uh, in that challenge. Wasn't a great pass, was it? And fantastic chasing down by Hafiz Noor. Bakrudin Arianto. It's quite a bit surprised there. Yeah, I think uh, it was, wasn't the best of touches from uh, Bakrudin. Just uh, lost his concentration a little bit. Credit to Hafiz Noor for being quick to apply that pressure. Bring the ball back for his side. He's backing into uh, Mireka. Just backing into Bakrudin. Or was it a foul throw, perhaps? Finally calling one, aren't they? <laughs> I wonder if he's saying uh, he's going to keep both feet on the, on the pitch. Six shots so far from Indonesia. Really coming to this up for it, Singapore, getting passes away at the moment. Well, that, again, it comes down to the decision-making in those situations. There's no line of pass, there's no angle of pass, so you've got to recycle it until uh, an option opens up. It's another late challenge from Hami. It's too strong for him, Kambuaya, there. He's trying to make something happen, Hami, but you, you need that little bit of patience at times. Still very early on in this game. You don't have to force it just yet, especially in those situations where Indonesia have got themselves settled in that defensive block. So players are already organised in those positions. And there's very little movement from Singapore in terms of the supporting players. They're not moving themselves into channels where they can receive a pass. Here comes Alfeandra. <laughs> Amazingly, thinking he could go for goal there. I mean, he's even gotten a smile out of uh, Shin Tae Yong. <laughs> Ambitious, I would say. Yeah, not really worth uh, analysing, is it? <laughs> I think the better option would have been uh, a cross. I'm not sure what his teammates <laughs> would have felt about that. <laughs> that yeah. reaction from Shin Tae Yong, though. <laughs> Here is Irfan. Now Haris Harun. A short pass there from Shannon, but they've got away with it. Now Hafiz. Overlapping run from Norada. And they'll get a corner. Singapore's first corner. And we know that this is where they can be dangerous. And good uh, run. Forward from uh, Norada, strong challenge from Masnawi. He's always going to be on hand to pop his side out for offensive and defensive situations. Taken quickly here by Singapore. Shot out. Trying well to try and keep that alive. Singapore make very little out of that corner. Well, just looking for variation on the corner routine there, Singapore. 
And uh, you, you go back to that first leg, they were winning the first balls yeah. in the air from set piece situations, they just weren't able to capitalize. Even in the first half, when they yes. weren't at their best. That's right. And uh, in a situation like that, where you've got Safwan, you've got Harris, Irfan up top, looking to challenge uh, and, and try and win a ball that could come in. It's a little bit disappointing that uh, you go for a short corner routine and the technique is not quite right. Bit of a wasted opportunity. Good work from uh, Zulkarnayan. Hafiz No. Out to Noor Adam. Straight to Amy Rekka. Get a grip on this match. Oh, you know it. 28 minutes have flown by here. Here's Amy Rekka. Anur Adab. The ball is given away by Hami. Here come. Indonesia again, and that man, Martin Andrevanga. Well, Shadow's point was he was already going down there. Yeah. A little bit soft, but uh, you know what Alfie Andrevanga is doing there? He's just stopping it, inviting that hand to come across, and he's going to go down. It's an armor cross, and the referee sees that armor cross. It looks like you're impeding the player, which he is, and uh, he's going to blow for a free kick. something they had Indonesia. Risky. Made a risky pass. Yes. Sorry, a couple of those. Yeah. I was waiting for one of us to say it, so <laughs> it was excellent uh, risky in the back five against Vietnam. I might won't get that. It's very fun. Day on, not letting up here his players. He felt that Singapore played better against Indonesia than he, they had in the entire group stage in that second half, in particular. Oh, my game from him. Now, this is the weapon that they have used a fair bit in this tournament. It's Pratama Arhan, particularly here at the National Stadium when there's a bit more space to run in for the uh, throw in. <laughs> We've done something a little bit different here. Here's Devanga. Well, that was a really interesting uh, throw in. I know everyone's expecting mm. the long throw into the box. He changes it up. But I wonder if that was meant for Ramai Rumakek or whether it was for Alfiandra. Because it made its way all the way through to uh, Alfiandra. Almost worked, uh, worked out really well for them. Bearing things up a little bit here today, Indonesia. More ways than one. Here's Irfan. There's a summary of what's happened so far. The 12 minute goal by Ezra Walian has given Indonesia an aggregate lead here. The light for ball out to Norada, who heads it into the box. Amy Rekka bearing down. That's cleared away. And Trying, Amy. He's trying to get himself into uh, positions in front of defenders, looking to try and link the play in these attacking areas. Wonderful ball from Harris Harun, wasn't it? That diagonal. Again, looking to attempt another one. It's another That's delightful crop field pass by the Singapore captain. Brilliant work, isn't it, to Zulkaino? Well, so are you. Trying to shot there now. Trying to pass in. Could have two minds there. Good options. Shut in as well. Singapore, though, have seemed to get a little bit more to grips with this game, Russian. Well, it's starting to have a bit more of the ball. Starting to look to 
try and find these gaps in that Indonesian defence and perhaps being a bit more patient, going around that Indonesian shape rather than through the middle. Good ball into Song Weyong as he gets the cross in. No, he doesn't. That uh, little bit of quality is missing at the moment in those uh, attacking positions. Would that be on the bench then, some of that quality you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, you look at this here, it's a nice idea, but he's got far too much on it. Song keeps himself onside, could have been in behind, you know, these key moments, these key situations. Technically, you need to be sound in those, in those areas, in those positions, and, and unfortunately, not, it's not quite coming off. We've seen Singapore lose possession a little bit uh, in those areas, looking to always try and play that killer pass, and that killer pass is not quite coming off. Closing down by Lorana to win the ball back. Here comes Song Wu. Crowd getting excited. Gets past one. No foul, says the referee. Yeah, nice dummy from the referee as well. As Indonesia look to break forward. Singapore to win it back. Good work by Norada. Not on that left-hand side, winning the ball and initiating the counter. Singapore trying to take the game to their opponents now. Here's Kambuaya. Now Ezra Walian. Lovely vision to get that across, but it is offside. Witan Salam has come onto this left hand side for a bit. And he's not offside, says Shinteyo. Well, Ramai Rumakiak has gone down as well. And uh, that was really good vision from Rahman. Intelligent ball in behind the Singapore defense. Here, Song is cutting inside and good challenge, clean challenge. Nice dummy from the referee as well. He was right there. Really good challenge from mm. uh, from Risky. Well timed. Got all of the ball. Nothing wrong with that. with twice as many fouls at the moment than the Indonesians. And uh, that's normally uh, a complaint leveled at the Indonesians, that they foul a lot. And some of the other countries. Here's the goal again. Yeah, with Tanami, he just gets the goal side here on Safwan, and he's stronger, and he doesn't panic. You wonder then that situation if Eric Fan mm. could have come across quicker, just identify the danger a little bit earlier. But with Tan, I mean, the work that he's done there, it's wonderful. I mean, the composure in those moments, this is what I'm talking about. Key situations, key yeah. area of the pitch where you can make a difference, and he's made it because he's kept his composure, he's kept his quality, he's drawn Hassan out from goal, and even though you've got a big goalkeeper like Hassan Sani coming out and spreading himself at you like that, he's still been able to get his head up and find a pass into uh, Ezra Walian for the finish. Yeah, it's not uh, particularly pleasant viewing from a Singapore perspective. Play on, says the referee. And look at that. Nice run down the middle from, es from uh, Witan. Oh, I think that was a good challenge from Safwan, you know. Safwan's furious with that yellow card. And that was a st the gap between Safwan and Harris. I was pointing it out to you just before it was played. Witan was making that run into that mm. space, and Safwan saw it and came across, which is credit to him coming across to identify that. It's a clean challenge. I think he's very unfortunate. Safwan, he yeah. gets all of the ball. the ball. Yeah. I think he's unfortunate, Safwan. He spots the danger early, comes across to cover the space. He's won the ball there. Very unfortunate. It's a good challenge. I think it didn't help him that he, he kind of went over the ball, didn't he? He got the ball and went over it. Maybe the referee didn't quite spot that, but it is a yellow card. Nine minutes till half time, and they've got a free kick in a good area here, Indonesia. <laughs> Irfan's still saying he got the ball. He got the ball first. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to change his mind.
interesting to see what Indonesia do here. Rumaikek and uh, Wanga. Oh, they've done something a little cheeky there. The soft one got a yellow in the first leg as well. And uh, with that second yellow, that is a problem for Singapore. Something to think about later on, though. Yeah, I wonder if it might just have taken a... When, when it came through in real time, I was just wondering if he could have taken a bit of a deflection. I mean, Song sticks out a leg. Fortunately for Singapore, went straight down the middle. Ezra Wallian. Good defending from uh, Irfan. Put himself into position early and then uh, came sliding across and he had to get this challenge right. I'm not quite sure why the flag went up. I think uh, perhaps the assistant referee thought there was a push on Irfan, but actually it was Irfan who was going down to the ground to make that challenge. I think he got a little bit nervous when he saw the uh, assistant referee put his flag up. Really good uh, clean tackle though. And they've won the ball back here. Witan Suleiman, brilliant again. Well, that's been excellent, hasn't it? He? Here he is on the ball. Trying to play his football in Poland with Lechia Gdansk. Look at the pace of that Asnawi. He did all the hard work. And he's over hit the cross. Yeah, but they're going to take this opportunity here to uh, try and put the pressure on. On Singapore's right hand side. Not the best of crosses, but uh, if you want to take uh, something positive out of it, you can say, well, at least uh, it's still uh, deep in Singapore territory. And they can apply pressure and win it back, which they've, they've done here. It's risky. Now for Redeem. Pretty quiet for him at the back there, Nadio, the Indonesian goalkeeper, Song Wei Young, trying to close down. A little bit better from Singapore there. Witan to Lyman. Still Witan. Lovely touch on there from Shadan. Just looks comes right back at them. Sorry, just with Ansalima looks so dangerous every time he's got the ball. Whether it's playing a pass, whether it's uh, running with it. Song Wei Young, he got that run from Hafiz. Now Hafiz no, will he go for goal? Here he does. But it's at a perfect height. There's a foul Emi Rekha who goes down that look. Like it could have been a penalty. He's asking for it. The crowd are as well. Tatsuma is furious. Well, a bit of confusion in the Indonesian defence. Defender and goalkeeper both leaving it for each other to take care of the situation. And it was Emi Reka who was alert, alive to that. Looking to punish Indonesia for that hesitation in defence. Controversy in the first leg for a penalty not given. Let's see. On the replay, oh. what happened there? Irfan not impressed with Witan Suleiman. Well, lovely work from uh, Singapore here in the counter attack. A long ball played forward, flicked on into Song initially. And there just pushes it out. And Rachmat is hoping for his goalkeeper to come out and claim that. I don't think it's a, it's a penalty. I think when you look at how he wins the ball, the way he comes across, oh, that's. He's connected with uh, he's connected with uh, Amy Reka first, hasn't he? Before winning the ball. My apologies. You know, there's a there's a there's a shout there. There's a penalty shout. Again, what? it's a legitimate appeal from Singapore for that one. Well, if you're uh, counting these, it's one apiece. Does it uh, cancel? <laughs> is it one of the things where they say cancel each other out? I think people just want the right decision, right? Whenever they can. But look. We, we've had to look at it again. 
Yeah, we've had three times now we've looked at it, so there's that. Well, it's a world without VAR, which some people are happy with. <laughs> when decisions don't go for you, then uh, you ask for it. Have a chat with uh, Park Hang Seo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it is a corner here for Indonesia. Punch away by Hassan when he looked like he could have, could have caught that. Pratama Arhan. Here's Ramai. Now Kambuaya. Oh, he's done well here, Kambuaya. Ezra Walian. And he's closed down just in time. All right, Irfan. Important challenge for Shadan. You know, what the situation, a wonderful run from Ricky Kambuaya here first. And just go back to the penalty. Shout. Oh, maybe after this. Ricky Kambuaya, lovely work. Quick feet. Yes, that situation. We couldn't quite find Rumakek with the pass. And then an important uh, challenge from uh, Shadan. I want to kind of explain the referee's thinking on why he perhaps didn't give that penalty, but remind me to come back to it after this uh, this corner. Indonesia looking to finish this half as strongly as they started it. This time he does take a clean catch. And a quick distribution out to Shadan Sulaiman. Only Rekha will not get that. Nadia with one key save in this first half of Hafiz Noor. Came at the perfect height. Yes, Roshan, come on. Yeah, so from, from, from where I'm sitting, and I'm a lot further away from the action than, the, than where the referee is, <laughs> it looked like it was a clean challenge because he came away with the ball, right? But on closer inspection, on the replays, which obviously the referee doesn't have access to, handball there, um, what he's seeing, perhaps from his point of view, mm. is the challenge has come in and he's won the ball. So the player, Amy Rekha, has gone flying, but what he's perhaps seeing from his line of sight is he's won the ball and the ball's there, defenders won it, so it's a clean challenge. But again, in the VAR world, if you go back and look at it, if you would highlight it to the referee. If you're a VAR, you would highlight it to the referee yeah, as a clear error. obvious error. Yeah. I think you've missed this. Depending on the what the referee desc describes, of course, but I think he would have said, no, I didn't see the first contact with, uh, with the Singapore attacker. Then you look at him and say, go review it on the screen. So I don't know why we're talking about VR. We, we don't have <laughs> we it, don't so have it's it. pointless, isn't it? Well, it's uh, two clear penalties in this semi-final over both legs. Just a one minute at a time here. Rama did pretty well, I have to say. Singapore will get a free kick, last chance here in the first half to try and draw level. <laughs> I mean, Ruma Kek was, was trying his best. That's good work from those uh, two Singaporean players. They're not giving up. Zulkarnayan and uh, Hemi Reka working hard and they've done well to win a free kick. Bit of nonsense off the ball there between uh, Safwan and Risky. Yeah, they're both pushing and shoving there. You can see Risky and Safwan. <laughs> Risky wants to make absolutely sure they've gone man to man there in those situations that uh, he's not going to allow Safwan to get away from him. The referee decided that uh, he's going to have a word with uh, both players. He'll be key here. Suck one. Yeah, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. He's saying, look, <laughs> I've, I've peeled away. I'm running off into the box and he's still tugging my, my jersey. He's yeah. making sure he's putting this... Uh, put, there, 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 have a look at there. that again. And Bolton, oh! Wow. Well, that's his second yellow. That's his second yellow. That's a huge moment here in this game. But it wasn't. He was yanked away, wasn't he? Safwan borrowed in. They've got to keep their cool, but Singapore are in real trouble now. And he's given a red card 
after that second yellow. But if you look back at that, he was being yanked. No, no, the referees, I think he's completely lost control of this. And so is Sakwan. He's got to walk away now. He's got to walk away. It's done. And I was keeping an eye on this. And he's been, yeah, they, it he, happened he, behind he's him, talking right? to them. Yeah, again, it happens right in front of the referee. Referee saying to Safwan to calm it down. Risky's hanging on to him. He went to have a word with the, with the two of them. So it's, it's, it's after this. So he's already had a word with, with both those players. And it's happened straight away after that when the referee's had his back turned. Listen, I don't even know if the referee saw clearly what had happened between Safwan no. and Risky. It happened after. So they need to move this on. We've seen yeah. this. The referee have a word with Safwan and Risky, and it happens. It happens straight after that. We're going to try and get get the. Uh, we're going to try and get the replay if we can of the incident. He's absolutely furious. I think he's got a right to be. You know, and Safwan. I think he's right. Yeah, feel and for him. Singapore in trouble, but they can change it all. Yeah! Oh, they do so. Backs as well. They've gone right up to the fourth official. They're fired up here. The Singapore on the cusp of half time have changed the complexion of this game. How but they are that? down. A man down. I'm so sorry. How about that for a moment to galvanize the crowd and the team? Listen to the reaction from the crowd. It's bubbling around the penalty area. So, uh, so on hand, after that sending off for Safwan, he's there to put it away, bubbling around in the box. Keeps a cool head, finds the back in the net, and Singapore are back in this, down to 10 men, but back in this, and the reaction from the bench. <laughs> Tatsuma Yoshida went celebrating in front of the fourth official, Safwan was walking off into the locker room, turned around and went back to celebrate in front of the fourth official as well. It's his first ever international goal for Singapore. But it's a huge talking point. And now Shin Tae Yong Shin Tae Yong is and pointing. Tatsuma as well. Yeah, it's fiery. It's all happening on and off the pitch. Russian and myself, we're all getting into it. But very talented. Will make you chase. Will 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 run at you. And that was with eleven men. <laughs> uh, eleven, yeah, and they've got the advantage here. So you know you need to sort of use everything, mentally, physically, give everything that you possibly uh, can in this one. As Romualdo gets us going, and, and Russian, did you think at any time at any time in the break that perhaps Singapore might look to bring on another central defender to keep the five, or are you? Do you think this is fine now? No, go, I, I, go with the four. I, I think it's fine now because if you talk about bringing in another central defender, then you're taking away mm. uh, someone from, from that midfield. And I think with, with the benefit of having Harris in that side, as we said, he's got the ability to play in midfield and play in defence. So, you know, it's not such a big issue at the moment. Now they've just dropped into that back four, him alongside uh, Irfan. And look, I said not a big issue playing with 10 men is a big issue what I meant was in terms of the personnel available to you on the pitch now with Harris Harun in there he's a reliable presence uh, in the center of that defense of course each side can make up to five substitutions in the 90 minutes Well, we're getting uh, confirmation about the reason behind that second yellow card. It was someone apparently striking risky. That is the official reason being given. Russian, your thoughts? And I'm telling you, that's, that's all the referee saw. His back was turned, and when he sort of turned around to have another look, someone must have shouted something, because he turned around and he had a look, and, and, and that's what he saw. He saw someone swinging an arm out, and that's why he's made that decision. You could argue, though, you can't be swinging anyway, can you? You can't, but if someone's pulling you and tugging at you in those situations, you're trying to shake him off. I don't think it was and I, I, I'm, I'm interested to know why Risky got, a, got away Nothing with it. Nothing at all, yeah. Didn't see that at all, did he? Here's Witan Sulaiman. No 
remember Singapore was stretched almost to the limit, weren't they, at times in that first half with 11 men. How will they cope in the second half with 10? Asnawi, Norada. Oh, we'll touch on there from Hamish Shine back to Norada, who was fouled. But well, this is going to be the uh, the story of the second 45. It's going to be a case of Indonesia having a lot of possession, Singapore sitting in, sitting deep, trying to keep the discipline, slowing it down whenever they can. The old cliche playing for penalties. <laughs> long, long way to go for that, of course, because there's 45 minutes and then half an hour of the time before we even get there. So we'll find that cuts out that ball. Here's Norada. Looking for Song Wei Young, who's got that all important goal for Singapore. And that pass doesn't quite get to him from Hami. So I asked you, Russian, the dilemma. Would you rather Singapore have 11 men and still be nil-nil, or 10 and the goal? As we see Asnawi. Return with a nice little back pass and a big, big shot for Kambuaya. Folded arms there from Shin tae -yong, who was fired up at the end of that first half. Uh, everyone was, I think, both benches. <laughs> Those are coming together. Wonderful work from Witan again. Such intelligent play from the Indonesian number eight. Expect a bit more control on that shot from Kamboaya. There was plenty of time for him to set himself, apply the right sort of technique. Completely mishits that. Here's Norada. Waiting for that touch, wasn't he? From Rutan. Gladly done. Rutan Tulayman, absolutely superb in that first half. Given away by Shadan. A lovely touch off from Kambuaya. Here comes Rutan Tulayman, bearing down the goal. And the pass too far away from Ezra Walia. The crowd, you can hear the frustrations around the stadium. Not happy what they saw at the end of that first half, despite getting that equalizing goal. Kambuaya. Now Ezra Walian. Another good start to this half, isn't it, from Indonesia? Yeah, the pressure's on, and doing absolutely the right things, this Indonesian side. Wonderful bit of skill. It was Kambuaya, wasn't it, with that flick in behind for Witan. From Singapore's perspective, unfortunately, Witan just couldn't find the... One of his teammates in the box, he had three Indonesian players in there to aim for. But from, uh, from Singapore's perspective, got to do a lot better in possession of the ball. No, there's a disadvantage here, but uh, they can't lose it in, in the middle of the pitch in those situations. It becomes very difficult, very tricky to deal with. Here's Norada. Great control from him. <laughs> Indonesia are looking to make a change here, by the way, very shortly. And good work from uh, Norada. He's driving across. Inside us now, and they'll take these Singapore. What that's done, Russian, is it's fired up the Singapore crowd anyway. It certainly has. You know, the, the mood, you know, in the, in the first half, 
wasn't that great. But the whole situation around Safwan sort of got the crowd going. And then my goal from Song, I mean, the roar that came out yeah. from the National Stadium here. It was, probably, it was the perfect response to getting that red card, wasn't it? The only one that really would have got them on their feet. And they had a second here. Ball in from Shadan straight to Nadio. They've wasted their chance, and it is going to be... Man who actually made quite an impact on his Sagara. Oh, no, hold on. I think Indonesia... They've changed their mind. They're going to change their mind. Well, it, it looked like it was the wrong number anyway. Yeah, there's no it number was, six. There was no six on the pitch. <laughs> I had to do a double take on my cheat. That's <laughs> what Indonesia was saying. Hold on. So, a succession of free kicks here for Singapore. Maybe Rek has gone down. Well, it's going to be number seven, Ezra Walian. <laughs> yeah, like for like change. He's done his part, he's got the goal. And the Sagara was lively. So they're still keeping Eggy Malana back for the moment. There was talk of him being almost like a false nine. Not to be yet. Sagara. Well, that looked a decent chance, but Singapore couldn't really do much without Amy Rekka. Another good ball in. Yeah, good ball in. Another good ball in. The quality of the deliveries uh, from Shadan all tournament. Singapore have been very good. Again, they win the first header. Amy Rekka and lots of space there. Completely misjudges the flight of the ball, mistimes the header. Interesting with uh, Emireka as well, being born in Surabaya. Mm. Grew up uh, a little bit in Batam as well before coming to, to Singapore. Here comes the new man in Hannes Sagara. There's also Indonesian press going on about Iksan and his. Indonesian roots. Rahmat Irianto. What they've got now, Song is just dropping there, isn't he? Dropping out where he can. Asnawi. Another goal, Indonesia, and they might feel that that could be. Key for them to kill this off. What a great touch. And a new man in, Hannes. Can't get it away. Lovely work from Witan. What a good ball in from him, but it's back with Indonesia. Alfeandra Devanga. It's Pratama Arhan. Oh, he's done well here, Pratama Arhan. Uh, how good is Witan Sulaiman? Just <laughs> incredible on the ball. The Indonesian number eight. Irfan got that one across. I think we're about to see a few substitutions from the Singapore bench, and it's a uh, big three. The front three of uh, Forrest, Iksan, and Shawal perhaps about to come on. A lot of pace in there. Lots of pace in there. Flat throw. That's a good header away by Irfan. Here's Amy Reka. To his goalkeeper. <laughs> Three Indonesian players bearing down on him, but he gets it away. Hassan Sani. Yeah, strong commanding header from Irfan. Now, what will they do here? Struggling to get it out. 
this be a moment on the counter. We know they've been good at it. Lovely work from Hadi Shahin. Fantastic pirouette, ball over the top. The flag has stayed down for now, and it does go up eventually. And he turned from uh, Hamid Shahin in midfield. He's going to quite get the pass out quick enough. Be the last thing he's done. We'll see. Singapore ready for those changes. I think they'll be happy that there's five subs in this tournament, given that they're playing with ten men. I, I wonder if we'll see Hafiz No, Emireka, and. It's a toss-up between Song, Song and, and Hamid Shahin. Shahin right? It depends on what kind of fitness levels uh, Song has, because you know he's had that injury concern, hasn't he? That's a vital interception by Irfan, but it could be back in behind here. Yeah? Look at the pace there of that snowy. The referee not interested in the foul or what Asnawi claims was a foul. Well, the, the, the first challenge from Harris, no issue. He has to look across, he's Hassan staying on his line. The first challenge, no issue. Second one here, he's using all his experience. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Referee having a chat with Harris. Oh, that falls to Risky! Off the woodwork! Oh, oh, how close were they there, Indonesia? The danger not over yet. Hannes. Wild shot over from Hannes Sagada. 22-year-old, just his third cap for his country. Well, you need those moments to go for you when you're playing with 10. There's a big roar from the crowd as Ekstar Bundy, Singapore's top scorer in this tournament, comes on for Amy Rekha. Listen to that. Hafiz Noor replaced by Faris Rumley, who's been a massive outlet for Singapore as well. And the pace of Shawal Anwar. And it is indeed Hami Shahin. They're going for it here, Singapore. Yeah, so we'll just see Song move into midfield. Alongside his uh, Line City Sailors teammate, Shadan. The front three, Forrest, Iksan and Shawal. You know what, Russian? It actually... Some people would have looked at that score, at that start sheet, starting lineup, and gone, oh, why haven't they started with the likes of Forrest and Iksan? Perhaps now, that's kind of worked in Singapore's favour to bring them on. And given that they're ten men down, it just lifts that team even more, doesn't it? As they come down here, Witan Sulaiman, another back heel. Kambuaya. Off Irfan. Here's Exxon, he sees the run of Sawal Anwar, who's bearing down. He's got Buckley in front of him, tries to go over the keeper. Oh, what a chance that is. From so far out, and that's what these three players can do that they've just brought on here. We just talked about the lift. Look at that, the counter-attack, the pace that they've suddenly got on the pitch now, Singapore. And that would have been the instructions. Would have been to say to the team, guys, get it forward to the front three. They've got pace to burn, fresh legs coming on, Iksan can hold it up and play passes in behind. But how about this for intelligence and awareness from Shawal? Nadio scrambling back. And he would have been relieved to see that go wide. What but a goal it, that would have been. Oh, would have been had it gone in. Probably goal of the tournament, up till now at least. Well, there's that lift we talked about with these players. There's a rather odd kick there. Was he just impeded? Just 
this some, is uh, uh, <laughs> like the Calam Raw of all. Yep, some uh, familiar chants going around the National Stadium at the moment. But it has helped galvanise this crowd. Here's Song Wei Young, who's just dropped a little deeper, as Roshan mentioned. So Kainan's fouled. Every foul, everything is being cheered now. He's looking down at his board. Or, yeah, thinking, what can we do? Singapore. I'm sure Shin tae Yong is also. I think it's, there's a lot of movement around there, dugout. Ambitious at best. Well, Shawal Anwar, still alive here for Singapore. Needs to be a much better ball, doesn't it? Yeah, awkward one for, for Shadan to put back in. You just had to kind of stab it in. Back into the box. Couldn't get any sort of whip. On that cross. He's ringing out here at the National Stadium. Indonesia. A little bit more possession, but it doesn't matter now. Singapore, I don't think he's bothered by that at all. Asnawi, Indonesian skipper. Yes, Rahma Erianto. Now Devanga. It's a right football, isn't it, from him? Ratama Arhan, straight at Hannes Sagara, whose shot is blocked. Indonesia doing well here. Ambuaya, trickery from him. So dangerous, so dangerous this Indonesian side. It's an ability to run with the ball and accelerate in those moments. Ah, the star man is coming on. And I mean the number 10. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear. <laughs> just to be clear, Irfan Jaya as oh, well. Oh my word, look at that. They what can... a headache for the Singapore defence. They've got the... Uh... Tallest defender coming on. Their star player who's playing in Europe and the player who's been arguably the man of the tournament so far, Irfan Jaya. Risky, replaced by Elkin, who doesn't seem to start for his country, but comes on in the second half. Well, you get rid of Ramai, and then you bring on <laughs> Irfan Jaya. Uh, Ricky Kambuaya being replaced by Egi. Uh, I mean, you, you saw from Singapore bringing on their three yeah. best attackers. We've seen Indonesia bring on two uh, <laughs> attackers of wonderful quality and a centre back who's a <laughs> massive threat and who plays uh, at Ipswich. Yeah, plays at Ipswich under 23. Elkan Baggett had an interesting tournament thus far. I think the tournament a little bit late, played a game, got quarantined, came back in, scored a goal. Eddie Molana is there. Big, big hit, of course, plays for Seneca. Oh, the referee deems that to be a foul. Uh, Are they going to uh, say his last man the, here? The the card, He's yeah. given a card, last man. It's another red. Irfan has to go. Well, that now is absolutely massive for Indonesia. I mean, this is such a clever ball from Sagara. And the moment he played it behind, he played Irfan Jaya in behind, you knew they were in trouble because it's highly unlikely Irfan was going to catch up to Irfan Jaya and I think the referees have judged this to be a denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity he's headed through on goal there's no covering defender in there it's a central position and arm has come across and, and, and listen I know if you're a Singaporean fan watching this the emotions around it you'll say that's a, that's a terrible decision you can't believe it's happened again 
But when you look at that in sort of isolation, when you look at yep. that as a footballing, as a refereeing decision, yep. I think ultimately you'll come to the conclusion that unfortunate for Ir uh, Irfan, we feel for him, but it it's the right call. I think it's the right call. Irfan Jaya was in behind. He would have been one-on-one -on -one with Hassan Sani. An arm Opportunity. Across, arm across the face, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I, I think it's, uh, it's denial of a, a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, Singapore now. I've got one central defender. They're probably going to have to bring another one on. That's Hades Harun. They'll worry about that later. They've got this free kick to deal with. Singapore are stunningly down to nine men with about 25 minutes to go. Irfan Jaya standing over this. The wall does its job. Singapore have one to do here. Well, we talked about siege mentality earlier now. Well, well. So no surprises, Amirul Adli, who's a bona fide centre-back, will be coming on. Who is going to be removed? Punch away by Hassan Sunny. Got to keep their head. That was Song Wu trying to do a lot there, but they are in real trouble here. So Fernando Susliman is deputising as centre back at the moment. Strength there from Hadis Harun and Witan Sulaiman. I don't think you got as much of it uh, on the header back to Hassan as you would have liked, but he. he did enough, enough experience to make sure he came across and uh, cut out the run of Witan. Song Wuyung is playing emergency right back at the moment. Singapore with Zulkana Susliman in the middle. Who will make way? Singapore right up against it. Here is Asnawi. Anywhere right now will do for Singapore. They're going to make that change. And it is going to be Song, who has to go. Hand has been forced here. Tatsuma Yoshida. And so what, what can you do? I mean, you just make the changes you need to, put an extra central defender in there. And uh, really hope for the best. Hope that your, your, the nine players that you've got left on the pitch can hang on for not just the next... 20 minutes or so, but potentially another half an hour of extra time. Well, he worked so hard there, didn't he? Song Wei got the equaliser for Singapore. He has that energy about him. Had to be sacrificed. Rachma Irianto, it's a great ball in. Amrul Adli, first bit of action, and he comes across to put that out for a corner. And the odds are stacked against Singapore. Indonesia, if they don't go on and yeah. win this, there'll be uh, lots of questions asked, and uh, I'd recommend staying off social media for, <laughs> for a while. A few months, probably. Yeah. Amro Ladi, 25 years of old, age from Lion City Sailors, one of many in this team. It's backs to the wall now for Singapore. With 10, they probably felt they could hit on the counter, but Russia now with nine. Oh. Big, big ask. They can't risk having too many men up there. Amaral Adli appealing to the ref who gave Singapore the decision. Tatsuma's fired up, isn't he? Now you can completely understand it. And... You know, I think he can be really proud of the performance of his team. Here comes Atanawi. Indonesia have got 20-odd minutes now. But here comes Shadon Sulaiman. He's got Faris in front of him. He's squared the ball. Iksan, it's behind Iksan, though. Shawal had a slip as well. 
There are four men for Singapore who are forward. Indonesia with Witan Sulaiman. Oh, he's over hit that perhaps. Uh, away by Faris. <laughs> that was like, I'm sorry, that, that brings me back to the training ground days when you have a tag against the first one in Singapore. Yes, three Faris Romney, bearing down the goal. He's got two against one there, it needs to be a better pass from him. Still Faris. And they'll be delighted to have that free kick. Listen to that crowd. Every opportunity they have, they'll make their feelings be known. I mean, the first one is a, is a real wasted opportunity. This one is again Forrest. Intelligent, brings it past. There's absolutely no need for the one guy to put in that challenge. But the first one, it needed to be a lofted ball towards the back post. It was three on one. He had Iksan and Shawal attacking the far post. So, free kick here from Singapore. I tell you what, Shanan Sulaiman has that ability. What a story this is turning out to be, this match. Shannon Sulaiman here with the free kick for Singapore. Shannon Sulaiman! Oh, what a brilliant free kick! Singapore are in front! Nine man Singapore and taking the lead here! Can you believe this? What a goal, Shannon! And the crowd are lapping it up. Just look at that. What an incredible game of football we've got. Shout out to Lyman. Wonderful quality. His set pieces have been superb for Singapore all throughout this competition. And he delivers once again. This story with more twists and turns. In the only place he could put it in, and he's found it. Unbelievable. And how about that reaction from the crowd? Wait for it. And there you go. Indonesia cannot believe this. And now, <laughs> Russian, what happens? What happens here? Indonesia will give it everything. Singapore have got to defend this. And they've also got to keep the heads. Here's Hannes. Every foul now, every little stoppage is going to get cheered. Boy, oh boy. This man the referee there will be plenty of talking points but so will that goal from Shannon Sulaiman there's still 15 minutes though Indonesia know an equalizer is all they need they can drag this out they have that two-man advantage but for now the Singapore fans are savoring every moment of this Here's Faris. And it's another free kick. And frustration for us now. We look at that face, that expression. Exasperated as now we. The three changes. What a difference those changes have made. And just before the free kick, you thought the chance had gone. It was a three on one. Yeah. And I mean, for Indonesia in that situation, as we look at this back, it's a clear free kick to foul on Forrest, to leave themselves exposed like that when you've got a mm. two-man advantage. Are they kind of losing their heads a little bit in Indonesia? Are they, are they a bit shell-shocked from what's going on? Well, they were so desperate to, to kill this game off. They forgot about the possible threat on the counter-attack. 
for the qualities that Singapore have. It's suited Singapore. Four players in the box here for Singapore. They've got three at the back. Hickson pulled away. Oh, that almost went in. That's a great save from Nadio. And such an important one. Brilliant from the Bali United goalkeeper. Yeah, to watch this one all the way. Wonderful quality again from Shadan. And listen to that as Shadan Suleiman goes towards a corner flag. The reception he's getting. Now they've committed even less numbers in the box off this corner. They're not taking any chances here, Singapore. You can understand that. Header on, even with those numbers, it's Iksan. Still. What was it? Three players in the box, yeah. and he still won the first challenge in the air from a set piece. Again, great delivery. Must be a dream for someone in the box looking to attack a cross that comes in. You know that quality is going to find you, the quality that Shadan has. Indonesia just have to compose themselves, Russian. They've just got to, you know, that they still have 15 minutes if you look at at a time. Look at that possession. It's not even 60%, 17 shots to eight in favor of Indonesia. They know a second goal will really give them a massive boost. Pratama Arhan. Witan Sulaiman. Rachmat Irianto, they will be very happy with those sort of shots, Singapore. They need to work that defence, Indonesia. They don't need to hurry it to that extent. And you see Asnawi is frustrated. They're starting to argue with each other, actually. Say anything right now, just let these pictures breathe right now, just to give you an idea of what's going on at the national stadium right now. This is what Southeast Asian football is all about the passion. And another free kick, Singapore's favor, big nod there from Iksan Fundy. Singapore taking their time to get the ball up there, as you'd expect. <laughs> what you're not seeing right now is Witan Sulaiman and Haris Haru just fighting on the ball. Now, Singapore cannot afford any more bookings or... Well, down to eight would be absolutely ridiculous. Floating the ball over. He's got this header in. I'll tell you what, Russian. The side, at the moment, since the change in players, more likely to score Singapore. They've had the best quality chances, they've gotten to the box, they've, they've looked dangerous on the attack. Another look at that. I mean, he's got a wonderful leap, show out. Gets to run and beat that ball into the box as well. Here's Norada. We're inside the final 10 minutes. Over hits that pass. A ball in for Ixan. He said to me. Singapore. Is there a feeling, Russian, they may just go deeper and deeper as this edges towards that 90? Here's Asnawi. Yeah, it looks like it's all falling apart for Indonesia. At the moment, heads are down. And that cohesion that they've had throughout this competition is suddenly lacking. It's incredible what football can do to you. This is a, another look at this <laughs> post stage stamp. I tell you what, I haven't heard a goal that loudly cheered, look at that, in this new national stadium for Singapore than that one.
The stadium has been around since 2014. And that really got the crowd fired up. But Indonesia will keep plugging away here. Here's Hannes. Now Iksan. Oh, lovely one from Iksan. Ball down. And the referee will book Fabian Arianto. Slightly ironic cheers at the moment from the crowd. Yeah, that's excellent work from Iksan. That's what you want from your centre forward in situations like this. Well, you're looking to hang on. You need a centre forward who can hold on to the ball for you. When the free kick in that situation, you slow things down, give the defence a chance to breathe, give everyone a chance to breathe. He's not looking happy there, Shin tae -yong. He's got one more change to make, by the way, if he wants. Would he bring on another forward? Headed on to Shawa. It's just too much on that. Indonesia come forward with Rahmat Irianto. Asnawi. Straight up. Hassan Sani. Hands to his head. Russell, what, what's going on here for Indonesia? It, it looks like their composure, their confidence is just gone. The heads have gone because that quality is suddenly gone. That cohesion is not in the side anymore. Exxon heads it on, looking for Faris Rumley. Asking yeah, for handball, they'll get it. Everything now is you feel like everything is going to go against you. That unfortunate ball bounces up off his arm. It's a free kick to Singapore again. And you start to feel psychologically, you start to feel this slipping away from you and you become a lot more desperate in your actions. And you start to overthink actions. And when it's not natural, that's when you start to have these issues. Here's Shawal Anwar. Indonesia. There, Irfan, we've hardly said his name. And that looked like a foul from, uh, yeah, looking for Shaul Anwar. He felt he had to take one there for the team. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of that maybe in the last few minutes. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't really going to catch him. Had to foul Irfan. I'm sure they'll say, his teammates will say, yeah, well done, yellow card worth taking. Elkan Baggett has thrown himself into the fray there, and a foul. So this is the thing now as well, which, which you'll notice is every single incident that can be pulled up by the referee will be called. <laughs> There's no room for, you know, referees, with, and I don't mean that in a negative way, I mean referees sometimes in games, they try to let certain things go, right? Yeah. But in a situation like this, where one team has two players down, they... Is that a psychological thing? No, I think they just have to be sure that they can't uh -huh. disadvantage the, that side anymore. You know, it, it has to be, if there's a foul, it has to be pulled up. You can't sort of let the game flow it, in those it, situations. It feels as succession of decisions have gone for Singapore, but yes, totally get what you're saying. And that's probably what the Indonesians are feeling at the moment, right? That's right. They're on the receiving end. But you, listen, you can't say mm. things haven't, haven't gone their way. I mean, aside yeah. from the fact that Singapore have two goals, mm. You're in a semi-final, second leg, opposition down to nine men. You can't say you, you don't have an excuse. They're still, having said that, there's still plenty of time for them to get back into this game. Absolutely. One goal would be enough to, of course, take it into extra time. And there's a chance here. The save has been made. Oh, it's made its way through. Indonesia have got the equaliser. And it's Pratama Arhan. Who has changed the game once again? Oh, massive goal for Indonesia. And there you go. There you go. They're back in it now, and suddenly now you start to feel that confidence coming back into the team. What a save this was. Initially, oh, he's offside. But no VAR, so we can't bring that up. Let's carry on with it. Assistant referee doesn't flag for that. There's a decision that's gone their way. 
He's just slightly offside as he puts away the rebound, but it's a credit to him. It's a credit to Patarma Arhan. Loves to get forward, that he's there, he's quickest to react, and he puts that one away. Well, while all that's going on, here come Indonesia again. There looked to be a foul on Irfan Fundy earlier. He was pleading with the referee. Singapore just seemed to stop, and Indonesia almost took advantage. What a game. This has been oh. quite the match, hasn't it? Two and a half minutes left in the 90s. Singapore. Probably be amazed they've even got to at a time if they can make it there. First of the ball will be Shadan Sulaiman. Needs to be a better pass to Shawa. Faris, ball forward here. Shawa has he been brought down? The referee says the penalty. He's put in the penalty spot. Unbelievable again! Shawal Elwa has been a judge who been brought down. They're looking absolutely lost here. Pratamara, has he gone from hero to zero? Well, well, well. You cannot take your eyes off this game. Not a simple ball played over the top and it's that pace. Oh, he's, he's got to the toe of the ball, on the ball, Pratam Arhan, you know. Has he given a penalty for a high foot? Because it looks like he's, he's made contact with the ball. Wow. I mean, Singapore, it's, it's not this angle. It looks bad from this angle, but the previous two, he's gotten his toe on the ball, Pratama. Now, you could argue it's a high foot. Maybe that's what the referee's given it for, but... He was right when Arhan, when he said that uh, he, got, he made contact with the ball, he was right. He got the ball, there you go, Shin tae -yong. I don't think Singapore will have any sympathy, nor their fans, at the moment, given what we've seen prior to this. But what a moment for both Nadio Agriwanata and he's got Faris Rumley to take the penalty. A few words there from Asnawi, by the way, on the Singapore attacker. But he will never have a more important penalty than this. Faris Rumley. This to make it 3-2, and surely, with the clock hitting 90, this would be it. Well, let's see how much out of time we're going to have. But first of all, Faris Rumley. He's up against it here against Nadio Agrimanata. Oh, he saved it! Nadio! Asnawi has a go, and Faris Rumley. Tempers are fraying. That's a brilliant save from the Indonesian goalkeeper. What a save. That's excellent from Nadeo. He's patient, he waits. And he reads the penalty and makes a huge save for Indonesia. Well, he had a few words out of Faris Ramli. And he can't believe it. That will not obviously count the whistle had gone well before. And Nadio smashes it away. And will that be? No action taken by the referee. We'll get on with it here. Well, the two balls on the pitch. The assistant referee has just kicked the other ball onto the pitch. Remember, these are the moments which Singapore need to take advantage of. Trying to get a flick on here. Singapore now, will they get hit on the counter? Witan Sulaiman, could they get a late, late goal here? 
They're trying to take him out. Still with touch for Loman. Maybe an important touch. Rachmat. Singapore cannot get it clear. Oh, what a save that is from Hassan Sonny. And the referee immediately calling. Wonderful defending from Shawal as well. I mean, Singapore here, the way they, they transition and get themselves back to credit to them, they're all over the place. Big save from Hassan, and then here from Shawal. Up against Elkan Bagot, who's got the advantage physically, but have a look at this from Shawal. Perfect timing on the defensive header away. Yeah, to the back of Shawal there. Singapore about to bring on Nazrul Nazari in these final, final minutes. Of course, Indonesia still with a chance here. Elkan Bagot, the main man, the number 30, 1.94 metres. We were told four minutes about a time that will go beyond that, I'm sure. Did he get a touch on that? Yes, he did. Hassan Sunny. What a key save that was earlier from him. Indonesia pressing just to kill this off, finish this game now. But they still will have a two-man advantage going into extra time. Near post, Shadan gets that away. Into the mix from Asnawi. Oh, lovely take there. Irfan, brilliant from him. And the shot wasn't to match. We've had the four minutes, and that has been a spectacular 45 minutes plus, plus, Russian. I'm just taking a moment to catch my breath. An incredible, incredible game of football that we've had so far. Shout out Sulaiman there with that free kick that made it. So Singapore were looking to bring on Nazrul Nazari right at the end of that second half. They have opted not to. So they ended up making just the four changes, as did Indonesia. And there's half an hour more here to go. Three all on aggregate this match. Witan Sulaiman. Asnawi. Look at the space there for Egi Molana. Still Egi. Oh, an important touch on, but it's gone in! Was that their final or no goal? It doesn't matter. Indonesia have taken the lead right at the start. Of extra time. Oh, delight for Indonesia and their fans. They didn't need the half an hour to be patient and get the goal. They've got it now right at the start of extra time. And what a huge goal this is. Great work from Eggy. To dribble it on, Hassan can only really just get a palm on it. And he's hoping that Shawal can complete the clearance. Very unfortunate for Shawal to swing and a miss at the attempted clearance. Heartbreaking for him, it's an own goal. Very unfortunate for Shawal Alwa. But Indonesia won't care. What a strange <laughs> game of football it's been. Absolutely. Incredible what we're seeing here. And uh, Singapore haven't been behind with nine men yet. This is the first time. So they have got a lot of work here to do now if they want to stay in this. But this is exactly what they would have wanted the Indonesians. Perfect start to extra time. And will they go on now? Harris, he's done well here, but he's given it away. 
Rahma Irianto. Rahma has gone down, he's writhing around on the floor. Yeah, I think Iggy wants to take this one. Touching his shoulder, Rahmat. I mean, I'm not sure there was too much in there from uh, Zulkarna in. So Nazrul Nazari does eventually get on for Zulkarna and Suzliman. It's a like for like change. He's got the speed, hasn't he, Nazrul Nazari? They're trying to put the burners on. Singapore went to launch one of those counters. And Evan Dimas, the captain, will come on for Rachma Arianto. This is a change that they've made a fair bit in this tournament. Still clutching his shoulder. He normally comes on, of course, much, much earlier in the piece, Evan Dimas, who's arguably one of their biggest stars, domestic-based. Free kick here, similar area from where Shadon Sulaiman scored. That's Eggy Molana. Oh, it's not Dick, looks like not Dick Sun out cold. That's he always, he's always moving. moving around, okay. Yeah. Great job, Wall. Great job, Big Sun. And that's hit him right on top of the head. They're going to have to make sure they uh, check it out properly first, follow all the concussion protocols. I saw him say two and three there, so I think he's OK. You'd like to think it'd be a bit more... Uh, rigorous than just that. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm sure the medical staff know what they're doing. Yeah, there we go. It looks like he's okay. Welcome back in. Here's Pratama Arhat. They want to get him on the pitch as fast as possible because otherwise they're down to eight. So Ilhan is, uh, sorry, Iksan is back and he's done well. It, are there more twists and turns in this tail? We can't tell, Russian. It's just had, it's had it all, hasn't it's it? It's been that kind of game. Nazrul Nazari, here's Shadan. Oh, he stayed on his feet here, Faris. Watchful. Still got the ball. He's done well, but he's given it away to Irfan. Now Evan Dimas. Got to get back, Singapore. Anis Saput Sagada. Now Shawa. That's an excellent tackle, isn't it, from Hannes. He's been a very busy player since his introduction. Another chance here, perhaps. Evan Dimas. Oh, that is a great save, isn't it? From Hassan. Listen, that should have been it. That should have been four for Indonesia. Another incredible save from Hassan. To me, has been perhaps Singapore's best player in this competition. He has been so consistent. That looked destined to go in, didn't it? Egi Molana. Pulled off some big, big save, doesn't he? Hassan Sani. Incredible save. 
I mean, the, this was a shot that came after it. But here, I mean, <laughs> Indonesia can afford. You know, that's now we're there. Take his time, take his time. Pick out the right sort of player. Yeah, you say, Ivan Demas, it's a poor finish. But it's, it's wonderful goalkeeping to me from Hassan. Gets himself, recovers his position, spreads himself. Makes that save and keeps his side still in this game. Yeah, you'd have felt 4-2 in the current situation. would probably be it. Amra Ladley, storming run forward. Singapore going to have to take a few risks, aren't they? Faris doesn't get there, but he will get onto the end of this. Norada. It's time. He was waiting, wasn't he? Feyanda. Frustrated. Yeah, it was just that, that leg across from Iksan. Alfiandra does, does get the ball, but he goes through the back of Iksan. Screaming, aren't they? Singapore. Yeah, I think uh, Amir old screaming at the referee, saying that uh, I think he was taken down there by Alfiandra. There's a bit of contact off the ball. Here's Baggett. Now Pratama. Now to Irfan Jaya. Oh, wonderful tackle from Amirul, who's done an excellent job since coming on. I mean, imagine being that substitute coming on. Yeah, he stepped in well, hasn't he? After two red cards, coming into the centre of defence, and then doing the job he has. Hundredth minute of this game here. Molana, Eggy Molana. He has had some very good moments like that one there. What a lovely turn that is. Important touch from Harris, that tackle. He looked for a second like he was going to be left for dead. But he was able to just lunge there, get a bit of contact on the ball. Egi Molana. What an impact he's having. Evan Dimas. Had a straight from Irfan at Hassan. Here's Pratama Arhan. On side. Oh, another great save. Irfan Jaya shot. Looks to be creeping in at the near post. Superman's on form. Hassan Zani. Be alert to that. Irfan shaping to shoot like he was going to bend it around towards the far post and then closes his body up. Wonderful reactions on the man. He was uh, turning 38 in a few months' time. He's approaching a century of caps as well. Hassan Sani. Done well here. He was trying to let that roll across him, wasn't he, Faris? Another good save from Hassan. Yeah, I should probably make it clear why I'm calling him Superman. It's because that's what <laughs> his teammates refer to him as. Another quality save from Hassan Sani. Strong enough punch out here. He's looking for Forrest to help him out on the counter attack, and then he's got to bat this one away. Indonesia relentless at the moment. And Iksan doing his defensive duties. 4 3 in aggregate. Indonesia 
will go through as it stands to the AFF Suzuki Cup final. That's well done from Iksan, you know, he's, he's kept his eye on the runner, Astawi. He's not ball watching. The moment Astawi's released that, Iksan has tracked the run into the penalty area. And he's poked that one away. post there will be a goal kick Singapore not only have to get the goal but they haven't got time it's come back off the pause actually that one Not a bad ball, is it? It goes down rather dramatically there. Irfan, to his credit, is not appealing madly for a penalty. So I can tell you there's uh, a minute and a half, maybe some amount of time here. Singapore, rare foray into the final third. Here's Iksan. for that through ball. Shannon Sulaiman for Shawal Anwar. Didn't work out there. Yeah, I mean, Singapore still. You know, with these openings and these possibilities. I mean, Shadan's essentially on his own in central midfield. <laughs> it's like a 4-1-3 for Singapore. Play continues here, Ratama, lots of space on his left-hand side. And important from Hades Harun, who's having his game of the tournament now. After the end of a massive shot. He's been immense at the back today, hasn't he? He's been excellent, Harris. He's been so much better, I think, his individual performances since he's moved into the centre of defence. Here he is recovering, making that recovery run back into the box. Played a really big part for Singapore. Harris Harun. One minute about a time as we come towards the close of this first period of extra time. Singapore trailing Indonesia. Bag it. Look at that. Irfan Jaya. Very down a goal, another key save, and I think Nazrul perhaps helping the course as well. Yeah, late sliding challenge from Nazrul just to try and put Irfan Jaya off as he was setting himself to shoot. But this is wonderful from uh, Hassan again, covering his angles. Look at him, no panic, full of focus, sets himself. Look at how he stays big there, he just stands up and waits as long as he possibly can. All that composure, all that experience and that quality. We did see the problem there! And they've got their fourth! Egi Molana surely now! They've got themselves into the final. A little bit of a mishap at the back, perhaps, for Singapore. But for the way this Singapore side has fought, the goals that they've conceded here in these two situations in extra time have been very disappointing. A mistake from Hassan, and I just said he was absolutely outstanding. And then he just gets caught out by Eggy at the near post, gets a bit distracted. Takes his eye off the ball. And uh, that should be it for Indonesia, really. 15 more minutes to see this one out.
goals at either end of that first period of extra time have now put Indonesia very, very firmly in the driving seat here. And Singapore have, well, uphill struggle probably doesn't even begin to describe what's going to happen now, but with that second period coming up. For now, it's Indonesia four different roles. Most uh, usually he's a right back. Now, will it be Noradam Abdullah? Club teammates. Nagali Salamat and Noradam Abdullah. So, it will be Tajeli going right back. Nazar Nazari left back as Singapore try the most improbable of comebacks here they killed it off really that gate that goal right at the start of the first period of yeah at a time didn't it Singapore will just have to go for it here throw caution to the wind this game is already lost otherwise Will that open up things as well for Indonesia? Here's Evan Dimas. Egi Malan and the channel. Here's Tajeli's first touch. That is offside for Shawal Anwar. time this round there Shawal. It's a really good idea. Great touch as well. As the pass came into him. And a change for Indonesia here. Karek Agung on for this man who's been immense for Indonesia. Alfreyana Devanga has been absolutely brilliant for them. Hey, listen, the future of Indonesian football looks so good, doesn't it? Alfie Andrao, 20 years of age. Wonderful quality on the ball, great reading of the game. Can play in a couple of different positions and be effective in those positions. Karek Agung, 23 year old, earning his ninth cap, plays for Bali United. Here's Nazrul Nazari trying to get his way through. Anis. Oh, he's done really well here. Amirul, but he's been dispossessed. And this is where they can get stretched. That's an alert. Yeah, good goalkeeping from Hassan. Good starting position that allowed him to help his uh, defence out. Here's Nazrul. Touch on from Iksan to Faris Ramli. We'll be absolutely desperate to try and get the ball into the back of the net. Iksan! Iksan! The first chance of this entire period of extra time, but it's straight at Nadio. They're giving it a good goal, Singapore. The speed that they do have in those areas, just couldn't quite catch it. Iksan with the shot. They're trying. They really are. Get themselves back into this game. Shawal. Here's Baggett. Indonesia know they can just take their time here. Level shots on target. Singapore not far away there from Indonesia despite the assault on that Singapore goal. Here's Witan Sulaiman. He's got Asnawi outside him. It's a poor pass from Witan, one of the few poor ones he's had today. Yeah, how different things could have been. You think back to all those key moments. Faris, the penalty that was saved by Nadeo. I wonder what Shinto Young was thinking in those moments. <laughs> he looked bemused, isn't he? Because he was trying to point at the ball. 
as if Pratama had had a hit, got the ball, and that penalty looked like it was all over, didn't it? At that point, how this has swung back and forth, but now very much firmly in Indonesia's favour. I think we'll need two goals to force penalties. Shadan. Lovely work. Gone right over the goalkeeper. Adekago can play that forward. It will be offside. Knocked away by Witan Sulaiman. Now it'll be Indonesia looking to soak up as much time as possible. Um, does it count as a deliberate clearance, uh, uh, attempt to clearance, uh, attempt to clear by the defender though? <laughs> yeah, because otherwise that wouldn't have been offside. Faris doing really well. That's what he's so good at doing. Welcome back it. Wasn't happy with that decision. It's good work from Faris. A couple of players on him. Still manages to find that gap. Uh, the set piece situation. This is where Singapore can be a threat. His arm pulled back by Elkin back at that. by Pratama. Faris. This is where they could get stretched. Irfan, steaming down the middle. Looking for Witan Sulaiman. I could just take his time, wait for that support. It's again, another very poor ball from him. Nazrul easily cuts that out. Here's Haris Harun. Shadan. Quick touch football here from Singapore. They look to get the ball up the field. Tajeli. Finds Shaul Anwar. He wanted a better ball than that. Good trap there, wasn't it, from Witan? Indonesia lining up here, Irfan! <laughs> Somehow he got that away. That's not for Muse. Look at his face. Yeah, I think he's saying he couldn't see the ball. Hassan had to react very late to that. I mean, he couldn't see the shot as he came in. Another corner for Indonesia. They've had 14, 15 of them now. Taking it short is Egi Malana. It will be key, you think, in the final. Oh, lovely interchange of passes here. Singapore want to get on with it. Nazrul Nazari. Well, here, wonderful work from uh, Kadek. Very defending from Iksan. To come across, crucial interception from Iksan as Singapore get forward with Forrest Ramli. Well, that was uh, hopeful at best from Forrest. Reminds me, Russian, of the semi-final Thailand Malaysia in 2018, when Adisak had the ball, had a penalty, and he missed it in the last seconds of the game. Similar situation, and Malaysia went through to the final. Very similar drama. 
you know, this, this competition is, has got that about it, right? Well, lovely work there from Eggy Malana. The ability to draw out the best from the players in this region. Squeeze every ounce of effort and quality because we've touched on this, about how big this competition is for these teams, for these players. Amaru Ladley. Singapore seeing a lot more of the ball in this second period of out of time. Great one from Iksan. He just looks around because he's also wondering why there's a lack of bookings. He had to go to the referee earlier. That's a, that's a yellow card for Egi. That's a yellow card. Look, one, two, he's passed him. He's one, he wants to exchange jerseys with Iksan. I, I don't know how Egi's got away with that. That is the point that Iksan is uh, trying to make there as well. But it's fallen here. Oh, so close. Faris Rumley, of all people, he's absolutely desperate to get yeah. on the score sheet. Shadad putting another one in, and they win the first ball in the set piece here. Just can't quite wrap his foot around it enough to get it on target. He's trying, desperately working to try and make up for a penalty that was saved. Four and a half minutes plus out of time for Singapore to get two goals. Indonesia can taste it now, can't they? They're almost there. Nine men of Singapore have to throw absolutely everything at this now. Here's Witan Sulaiman. What a threat he's been. Karek Agung. Trying to find uh, Evan Dimas. Now Shawal. Can Amir Adli taking advanced positions? Faris. Still Faris. Just haven't got the bodies, have they, Russian? Yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's only got Iksan and Shawal to really hit in those situations. Shout out that lone man in midfield for Singapore. Here's Witak. And they can take their time now, of course, Indonesia. Pratama Arhan. Yeah, another wonderful player, a young player. So exciting to watch Pratama Arhan. Give and go. He's going to quite take it in his stride there. I mean, I'm looking around this stadium and what's, uh, from a Singaporean fan's perspective in four, I think what will be a boost to, the, to this Singapore side on the pitch is that people haven't really been leaving early. Mm. I don't, I don't see how anyone could. It's been that kind of game. Here's Tajeli. Almost an air resignation now. Around the stadium, Shadan. Out wide here to Nazar Nazari. Bit of a short pass. Got away with that one. Haris Harun. It's about the furthest we've seen him up the pitch. He's been caught out here. It's four against two. Well, that could well be another red card. He knows what's coming next, doesn't he? Three red cards for Singapore tonight. So who is going to go and goal? <laughs> it's just... 
do. Uh, Amirul was trying to play them offside there, but Nazrul kept going with his run. Played a couple of Indonesian players onside. And, uh, yeah, they're fun. Once he gets past Hassan, he knows what's coming. Three red cards. Wow. In, a in one game. Yeah. Yeah, Iksan, it looks like it's going to go in goal. He's going to have to change jersey as well. Well, <laughs> they're taking off their star striker and putting him in goal. I still remember once uh, star striker doing that in the Premier League. It didn't work out so well for him. But he gets justifiable applause here. He apologises to the crowd. But he has been superb for Singapore today, hasn't he? And throughout the tournament. Yeah, and he's getting an applause from his uh, from the Indonesian goalkeeper Nadeo as well. A real legend of the game in this part of the world, Hassan Sani. And he's shown exactly why with his performance here. Not just tonight, but throughout this competition. Well, it's just. Uh, <laughs> Rather odd way to end things, but here can Iksan try to claim a clean sheet for himself. Can it go? And it's a great save. <laughs> but it's a funny who smashes that forward. It's no one really going to get to that. He smashes it right out. What a roar as well from the fans. It's kind of got the fans going again. It has, it has. Brilliant, wonderful atmosphere. Listen, this game is going into the AFF Suzuki Cup classic match for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Evan Dimas, Indonesia, looking for one more perhaps. Shadan. And we have just witnessed one of the classic AFF Suzuki Cup matches. In the history of this competition, I don't think we've seen much more drama than this. Tears for Singapore. They're on their knees, they're on the ground. There's dejection all around, but Russian, they should hold their heads up high tonight because they were well, within whisker of creating one of the biggest upsets. And I'm excited to see what they do in the final up against whether it's Thailand or Vietnam. They'll give whoever they're up against a real good fight. There's a real excitement about this Indonesian side, isn't there? Because they're so young. I don't think people expect them to make it all the way to this final. But they've, they've confounded the critics, Russian. And what they've done is they've taken the game, apart from their game against Vietnam, where they played it brilliantly. They played it brilliantly because they switched so well, didn't they? they they've shown to be a very flexible and Shin Tae-yong's very uh, tactically astute manager, uh, head coach. Yeah, exactly. And we've seen different sides to, to them in this competition, the tactical flexibility that they've shown. And they've got their reward. Now the Singapore players there, facing some of their hardcore fans who are now singing the national anthem, as has become customary in recent times. But a word about the crowd tonight, Russian, because sometimes Singaporean crowds have been criticised as being maybe a bit reserved, a bit quiet, don't always get behind the team a little bit, hold back a bit. But tonight was raw emotion, wasn't it? Yeah, fantastic emotion and atmosphere from the crowd. And I think throughout this competition, actually, aside from that small pocket of fans who are booing the team after the Thailand game, I think the fans here in Singapore have stood by their team and have got behind them. Credit to them and credit to the, to the Singapore players for responding to that and giving uh, their country something to be proud of. Yeah, galvanised them today, didn't it? And that man there, that man there, when he scored that free kick, the almost improbable. Can you imagine if Singapore got through with nine? But it wasn't to be. And Indonesia killed it off, didn't he? That man there with his second red card, Irfan, 
Listen, they're, they're still being cheered off the pitch here. People have stuck around, and I think players can take heart from that. That this is what the performance has deserved. And the fans have stuck around to clap them off. Chance of Singapore, Singapore ringing out around the stadium. This was a side that wasn't expected to get this far either. Singapore, they too have confounded their critics. But what a classic we had here between these two sides. And they've given everything. And a, a word here about Faris Rumley. There's, there's nothing I need to say about him, really. He'll, he'll feel that responsibility, believe me. As a player, when you've got a moment like that, and when you look back at how the game has gone, that they've been knocked out, he'll feel that it was all him. But look, that's football, that's life, it happens, and he's apologising to the fans now. He's tried his best, he's done his best, he's stepped up, he's taken the responsibility to try and win the game for his team. Yeah, he's distraught at the moment, uh, Faris Rumley. He'll be the most disappointed of everyone. Absolutely. Well, we're finally going to get to the man of the match, and it's been given to Shannon Sulaiman. I think that free kick is probably <laughs> at that you moment. Can, you can understand why he's not got a smile on his face, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Probably rather not get this at the moment. He's... Uh, They've had their done. They barely forcing a smile there. Shadan. You can understand why. But it was all smiles for him not too long ago. And here are those stats, in which, of course, absolutely one side and dominated. 33 shots, the most we've had in this competition. That's Singapore getting 515s. And almost as many on target. I tell you what, for a side with playing with nine men, yeah. that's not too bad at all. Let's remember these stats will be skewed pretty heavily. I've seen 11 men yeah. sides get less. Exactly. So that brings us to the end of proceedings here. And we've still got one more semi final to go. From me, Shazad Haq, Rich Roshan Rai, and the team at the National Stadium. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow night. And, uh, congratulations on the man of the match. I know this must be difficult to take, but can you just take us through that goal and the reaction from the fans at that point? Of course, it's always uh, a pleasure to score in front of our home fans. You can hear from the support, and, and we took the lead from that goal, but still, uh, we lost the match, so uh, I'm very disappointed, actually. And overall, uh, your thoughts on how Singapore has played uh, throughout the tournament? Uh, I mean, from this match, you can see that we, we put a lot of heart and soul into the game. We gave it our all, and even with the number disadvantage, we, we gave it our all and unfortunately, it wasn't enough. And uh, well, do you have anything to say to the fans uh, who have who turned up here as well as uh, all over Singapore who, who supported you throughout the tournament? Uh, thank you very much for all your support throughout this uh, tournament. Uh, uh, it's been a, a pleasure to play in front of uh, all of you and, and uh, we, we, the team, uh, appreciate a lot. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great.